Alright, welcome back to another Touch Designer tutorial. And today we're going to look at something that I'm just being asked uh, about quite often. So let's just look at it. It's going to be a rather quick video. So I just have this very simple setup here. Um, and we're going to look at how you how, how I usually um, export stuff and uh, then how I like uh, treat videos especially so they're not like compressed that badly on Instagram or you know other other uh, social media and how you can also n nicely send stuff to um, customers so yeah all right so I just have this noise and a rectangle uh, as you if you're following me and following me on Instagram my latest posts always have this rectangle I kind of think that it always makes it look a bit more I don't know nice <laughs> and um, yeah I'm just gonna like attach a movie file out here so I can show you uh, my my process so um, I'm not going to talk about images much because you can I, I usually just uh, recommend using JPEG or PNG um, that's what I usually use for Instagram works perfectly so no need to to really talk about that I have a whole video on exporting as well so check that out um, <coughs> So yeah, let's talk about the an animation. And um, yeah, I usually just use uh, Photo Motion JPEG and then convert it with a software that we're going to talk about in a second. Um, there's also you can also use H.264 if that works for you. For some reason, it doesn't work on my machine, even though I have Nvidia. But um, yeah, so I usually just use this. And then you can. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you my folder. So uh, here is my original uh, file that we're working in right now. And then I always have like this export folder. And in the export folder, there is a converted folder. So in the export folder, that's where we want to save our stuff to. So I'm going to type in export and then tutorial. All right. So um, now it's going to be saved in this uh, export folder here and it's going to be called tutorial and then because of this me dot file suffix it's always going to have like this number and the moth at the end. So we can now change this with the n here and um, what I'd also recommend for a uh, nicer uh, color look I noticed um, sometimes it just works better with YUV422 uh, instead of 420. And if you want to have audio, then reference that here uh, with like just dra drag in your audio ch audio chop in there. All right. <clears throat> but as I said, I have a whole video on exporting. All right. So I'm going to just um, turn on, turn off real time and record uh, a few seconds of this. And just change the, the number here. So we have like three videos at the end that we can work with. Okay, so um, I'm gonna open Handbrake now because that's what I'm using. Uh, unfortunately, apparently it's not available for Mac, but uh, you can download it for Windows here. And I'm gonna uh, link this in the description. So uh, yeah, it's it's free, open source, and um, yeah, oh, it's actually multi-platform, so you can download for Mac and Link Linux as well. So that's perfect. So yeah, just go ahead and download that and start it. And when you when you start it, you either uh, you can either drag your uh, now saved files here, as you can see, we have free videos that I recorded. You can uh, now just drag one of them in here. Or you can just uh, open the folder. So I'm going to go to the export folder and just pick that. And then we have our free videos loaded in here that we can select here. All right. So this is, it's not perfect because uh, the whole save as thing down here is not very great, but uh, the outcome is, is, is works perfectly. So that's what's important. Um, the only thing you need to change here is if you go to dimensions, uh, change the cropping fr from automatic to custom, and then just leave everything at zero. Um, for some reason, the automatic doesn't really work for me. And um, yeah, so this is all, everything here is totally fine. You can just leave it the way it is. Uh, what you can also do is just save this as a preset, 
uh, give it a name, you don't need to change anything else. And uh, then it's going to appear here, have this, have this Instagram thing here. All right, and then we just need to go to browse and go into our converted folder. And then we can uh, save our file there. So I'm just going to encode it. And um, technically, we should see our video in here now. Yeah, as you can see, this is now an M4V file. And it's also like this one is five megabytes. And this is only barely uh, one megabyte. So it's also smaller. Um, yeah, so now we can just go to title two. For some reason, we need to change uh, this again. Um, and encode that and it's going to appear there as well. And then we're going to just do the same thing with the third one. Okay, they they're kind of weirdly named. As you can see, but uh, you know, oops, now I opened it. The names don't matter that much and you can still change them afterwards if you wish. Or you can also change them in here if you want to uh, before you uh, encode them. All right, so perfect. Now we have like three files here and they're all M4V <laughs> and they're all uh, 30 FPS. So if you save this as 60 FPS, then um, you, you probably should go to video here and change the FPS. But um, yeah, you know, for Instagram, it's not really that important. So what I do then um, is uh, I either, like before my phone kind of started screwing things up, I always just exported stuff to my drive or, you know, you can use any cloud, of course. So um, I just have this export folder and uh, I usually just um, have like name my stuff uh, based on the day that I'm making it. As you can see here, I'm using like this particle top system and it's all based on the, on the dates. So um, this month <laughs> I couldn't actually do much. But um, yeah, so I always save the files as well in here and then like in the other folder and then I just put all my export stuff in there and then just drag and drop it in there. Or, um, you know, and then you download it and upload it on Instagram and then it works perfectly usually. The other way is to just use the Creator Studio. So if your uh, Instagram is connected to Facebook, then you can use this Creator Studio uh, and this way you can post from your desktop. So, you know, you need no cloud, but the cloud is also great for just backing your stuff up. Uh, here you can either uh, upload an IGTV or an Instagram feed, like a normal post. You just click on that and you, here you can add your content, um, post cap like red captions, add a location uh, and, and change some stuff. Uh, I can actually maybe just show that with this one maybe. So then you can uh, change the cover images as well. If it's uploaded okay whatever <laughs> the other thing is uh, which is also like which makes this pretty great is that you can actually schedule here I don't think that's possible on the app correct me if I'm wrong um, so this is pretty nice if you just want to like you know export uh, like upload this at a specific time um, right now so now we can go here and also select like cover image it's not as nice as um, as the app of course the app, uh, I think, is perfect from from the UI, but this is also okay. So yeah, this is our. These are like the two ways uh, I usually upload uh, because my phone is kind of broken. I pretty much use this page. Uh, yeah. So just to summarize, uh, we just have our setup, and um, I'm just adding a rectangle to whatever outcome I want to have. Then I export it as a photo motion JPEG, and um, convert the whole thing with handbrake and then I have like an M4V format which I can then just upload to either my cloud or directly to Instagram using the creator studio all right so that's about it um, I'm sorry if I can't like post too much right now there's a lot going on uh, project wise so I'll try to to post more stuff soon all right. Anyways, uh, hope you hope you're well, and I'll see you soon.